All right, everyone wanted to show you a little bit here about uh, what it looks like when you're in a session. So here we can see a screenshot of a session where the presenter, me, is sitting there in front of his green screen um, presenting. And at the same time, I'm displaying some slides beneath. Uh, and so as a, a viewer, it's a bit webinar-like in a sense that the speaker will only see a number. So in this case, you can see there's a little uh, I symbol and a two up above uh, his left shoulder there. That's telling him there's two people in the room, including the presenter himself. Um, so that's what they're going to know. Of course, that's why people will say, hey, introduce yourself in the chat. Make sure you're chatting into the session chat. And, uh, and then you can carry on and you can listen to the presentation and so on and so forth. Oftentimes, though, there's going to be a little bit more interaction. Maybe you have, you have a question or maybe the presenter actually wants to bring people in and have, have a little bit more talky talk amongst the group. And so that's where you see this blue button up here that says ask to share audio and video. If you click on that button, the presenter will see a note on their screen saying somebody is asking to come on screen. Uh, you know, do you want to give them permission? And so they have to grant you that permission. If they do so, you'll probably be presented with this screen. If you've already done it once, you probably won't have to do it again, provided you clicked the remember my settings for future sessions button. Uh, but it's asking you, you know, which microphone and which camera and also, of course, by default, it's effectively asking you for permission because your video is going to go live. And uh, for all of the workshop sessions, we're trying to record all of them. So know that if you're going to go on to camera in a workshop session, you will become a part of the archive. So just remember that as, as you go through the conference. And after you click apply, of course, then there you go. You can see myself and myself on the screen. So now there's two of us up there and I'm now live and every other participant in the workshop session would see and hear both of us, the presenter and you. Uh, and you, the presenter can actually have up to 10 live people on the screen at the same time, or nine, I think, and one of them is reserved for the screen share. Um, so anyway, that's how a session will work. This exact same interface you'll find for going into, say, a Q&A session in the exposition hall. It's the same thing. You'll see the same basic interface. You'll see the same blue button that says, you know, uh, share audio and video, and, and you'll be off to the races.